It's all about the eyes. Eye placement and facial expressions are among my highest priorities when I am doing any shot with a person in it. The right expression and placement of the eyes will make up for a less than great pose any day. I can also promise you that if your business model relies on print sales, you'll make a lot more money if you pay close attention to expressions and eye placement in your photographs. For my shots, I want the eyes to communicate with the camera. I usually begin by explaining to my subjects that the majority of the photographs I am going to take will feel as if they are looking straight into the camera lens. I'll tell them to imagine a box that allows them only a few inches of movement. I'll explain to them that the camera magnifies things and that if I ask them to turn their head, I am really only asking them to move about an inch at a time. I'll explain that they should always make the photographer ask for more. This way, I have much greater control. Generally, if you ask a person to turn their head, they will turn their head by at least three inches or even more and give you an angled view of the face that does not have pleasing eye placement and as you can see here, makes the eye fall off the edge of the face. If you watch this model's eyes closely, you'll see some very common variations in eye placement. Most of them are not flattering or engaging. If you want maximum impact from your subject's eyes, line them up with their nose. It doesn't matter if they're looking straight down the barrel of the lens or off on an angle. Eyes that line up with the nose almost always produce a more natural and pleasing result. And for straight on shots, definitely more impact. Here you can see the same eye movements, but with the head turned to the side. The net result, exactly the same. The version with the eyes lined up provides much more impact and looks much more natural. In this next example, my model's face is turned away from the camera. As a result, the iris and pupils of her eyes are forced into the corners, and her left eye is visually pressed up against the edge of her face. By turning her face slightly back towards the camera, we have better balance with the eyes and we've eliminated the tension of the eye against the left edge of her face. As a result, this image is more captivating but still has the same pose and feel. It is important to give the eyes breathing room. This example shows the model's hair lying very close to her right eye. In this next example, the hair has been pushed back and off the eye, which creates more impact from her beautiful eyes and soft expression. Now make sure you get the good side. Everyone has one eye that is bigger than the other. Unfortunately for some people it is easily noticed. For others the difference is very subtle and for others it only becomes noticeable when they smile and contract the muscles in their face. While we don't usually notice this in real time, when it is frozen in a photograph for eternity it can become painfully obvious. In this first image we can see that the subject's left eye is noticeably smaller. If we turn our head to the left the problem still exists. And if the head is turned to the right, we have the illusion of the eyes being nearly identical in size. So it doesn't matter if you're shooting models, or sports, or children. It is all about the eyes.